It can be a touchy subject, but do you talk to your kids about the lesbian, gay, and transgender community? If you're not, they probably already are talking about it at a younger and younger age. We went to the San Francisco LGBT Community Center during its Free Your Mind program, an arts and crafts project for young adults, and spoke to them about the importance of this topic. I think it's really important that when us as adults and as family members hear our kids um, use terms like, oh, that's so gay, you know, we should really engage um, our sons and daughters around that because that's actually really painful and really hurtful for kids. And a lot of kids are hearing that, you know, in their school environment these days. I was in seventh grade when I came out, so it was like, 12, maybe. It came out in the middle of last period by passing someone a note, and then by the end of last period, the entire school suddenly knew, and I went into my homeroom, and these kids were like, I heard that he's gay, and my teacher was like, are you surprised? But then as I got into high school and wasn't in that environment anymore, um, I was encountering all of these teachers who were just like really hateful about it. I got kicked out of every school in the area that I was in and I never was angry, I never threw desks, I never was violent. I just did things like wore shirts to school that said I love boys. I was getting A's on all my tests and like was doing my stuff and I wasn't allowed to succeed because of something that had nothing to do with my education and I wish that I would have just like been able to have been let be <laughs> and my mother was so interested in me playing the game and getting through it that she would never take the time to stand up for me and it just, I ended up dropping out of high school because of it. You can never really expect your kid to be a certain way. Your kid is going to turn out however they're going to turn out and I think that my mother in particular wasn't willing to accept that and that's why she wasn't supportive of me. Parents have an incredible opportunity to make sure that they instill values of respect and understanding and so they can uh, talk to their kids about how they're interacting with other kids in their, in their schools or on the playgrounds, you know, you know, talk to them about who their friends are, or who's getting picked on at school and what their role could be um, in helping to create a supportive community. <laughs> When I first came out as trans, it was a lot harder finding resources. Now I'm in like a transitional housing program. Transgender is uh, an umbrella term that um, is used to describe an individual who uh, does not either want to prescribe to specific traditional gender role stereotypes or for whatever reason was born um, and you know does not feel as um, a person of the biological sex that they were born to. I identify as a male but I still wear a lot of flamboyant colors. But uh, when I wear something, it's part of my self-expression, just like anyone else wears anything. You know, I would say that for any parent that's out there that's a little concerned or scared that their child might be lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender, um, is to just stop and check that fear, that life will be okay, that they will be okay, they need you at this point. They need you to support them. They need you to listen, to engage with them in conversation, to value them for who they are, and to most importantly, not try to change them. Um, because you can't change it. Well, to parents, I definitely want to say that this is, it's not about you. It might be really hard to understand because you, you may have known one thing for a long time and now it's different. Your kids are gonna love who they're gonna love and as long as they're being safe and not hurting anyone then just love them for it and be happy that they are in tune with themselves and are figuring out who they are and be proud of the fact that your kid is brave. Well joining us now is the executive director of the San Francisco LGBT Community Center, Rebecca Wolf. Hi. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Wolf. Yeah. Rebecca yeah. Wolf. Thank you Good so much, Rebecca, for coming here. Thank you. Thank you for having now, me. Now at what age should parents start talking to their children about LGBT the community? I think it's an important thing to talk about from a really early age and I think one of the things that's happening is parents are reluctant to talk to their children about their sexual identity because they feel like it's about sex and, and that it's sort of a loaded topic and something that they might not feel comfortable with. 
So one of the things we encourage people to do is talk to their children about how, children about how to be good allies as well. So I think it's a good way to open it up that there's a lot of different um, decisions that people make and a lot of different ways that people live their lives and that it's important to teach them to honor and really respect diversity at a very young age. And that then helps a conversation later if their children may be struggling or looking at issues of questioning their own sexual orientation. It's well, a much easier conversation. We're told that kids are coming out at an earlier and earlier mm -hmm. age. So how young is too young for a kid to even know his or her uh, identity sexually? Well, children are coming out younger and younger, um, and I think that it's important to really follow the lead of your children and respect where they seem to be. Some, some children at you know very young ages, four and five and six and seven, are beginning to talk about how they feel and how they feel about their both gender and also their sexual orientation. And so, I think if your children are ready to talk about it at that age, I think it's you know something that it's important to to talk to them about. If if they're not ready till later, then then you can follow that as well. I think a lot of parents would love to talk to their kids about this topic, but they don't feel comfortable or yeah. they don't know the right words to bring it up. I mean, mm -hmm. where can they find information on that or how should they approach the topic? Well, I think one of the things that's great now is there's actually a lot of dialogue in, in the community in the world about uh, gender identity and sexual orientation. And so I think there's a lot of room there. You know, Milk just won a, you know, an Academy Award. I think that you know, there's a lot of positive role models out there. I think you can begin talking to your children about those role models and what do they think about that and do they know anybody who might be struggling with those questions and, and, and begin the conversation in that way. So it doesn't have to be about you know, talking to your child about, well, how do you think and, and and, you know, what's your sort of, you know, what do you think about your own sort of sexual well, orientation? Well, kids no doubt are talking to each other about this topic. Absolutely. So what, in your experience, what, uh, how have you observed kids are treating other kids who are beginning to demonstrate uh, that they are gay or lesbian or mm -hmm. bi bisexual or transgender? Well, one of the things we really, uh, it has been very well documented is there's tremendous amounts of homophobia in the schools. And it's not just targeting children who may be struggling with an identity or identifying as, as gay or lesbian. Um, it's also about kids who don't fit with the gender norms. Mm -hmm. You know, girls who don't act like girls are supposed to, quote unquote, and boys who, you know, sort of don't fit the, the very strict norms we have for, for boys. So I think, again, it's important to talk to your kids about um, why it's important to respect difference and that, um, people behave and look and act differently and dress differently and that, that that's okay and it's an important thing to respect and that really helps um, also build allies in the school so that there are other kids who are saying you know what we don't have to you know as, as Roberto talked about in, in the film clip um, you know kids all the time say that's so gay and that's you know that's a pejorative term and you know it's important to have other kids saying that's not okay um, and, and you know that really looking at peer-based intervention um, I think is really critical. Do you think there's enough education in schools right now about this topic? I think you know it's it's a challenge. I think it's important to have discussion in the school in in formal um, in a formal school context. I think it's important to have the discussions in families. I think it's important to talk to kids about how they talk to each other because the way kids talk to each other is very different than how they talk to their parents and their teachers. So I think it's an important conversation to have in a lot of different places um, and and to look at that conversation sort of being appropriate to the context. Yeah, perhaps it's important also for parents to talk to teachers and people at school about what mm, that's conversations right. are going on there regarding right. this topic. That's right. Yeah. Because if parents think their kids aren't talking about it, they're wrong. I mean, the, the kids are really talking about it, and I think it's important that, you know, the most important thing is to support your kids, whatever they might be dealing with. Okay, Rebecca Rolf, thank you so much from the San Francisco LGBT Community Center. And they're having their seventh anniversary right. uh, soiree. It's called Soiree 7. Yes. Yes. This Saturday, March 28th. Oh, next Saturday, next March Saturday, 28th. Yes. We got more information on our website. Rebecca, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank Great. You. On the view from the bay, Tone up and slim down. Tomorrow, kick hunger to the curb with seven secrets to live hunger free. Great guests. Thank you, Spencer. <laughs> good times. Oh, good rule. Of course, good food. The view for the bay tomorrow.